Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day because I'm launching a brand new learning community called Fabric Dojo. And in this video, I'll be explaining to you exactly what Fabric Dojo is, who I think can benefit from Fabric Dojo, and why I think it can help you learn fabric a lot faster. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I've got a little special promotion for people specifically on this platform who have been supporting me up until this point. Without further ado, let's step inside of the dojo. I'll take you on a little tour and you'll begin to see what this is all about. So this here is the Fabric Dojo. It's an eight story building and it's set deep in the Japanese mountains. You have to use your imagination here. Now a dojo, according to Wikipedia, is a place for immersive experiential learning, learning through experience, learning through doing. And so the Fabric Dojo is a place for learning Microsoft Fabric and specifically the engineering aspects of Microsoft Fabric by doing, right? Through example, through tutorials, through mini projects. And why have I designed it in this way? Well, personally, I think to learn any sort of skill like this, like data engineering and analytics engineering, really you need to get hands on with the tool. Yes, YouTube videos and video courses and even conference presentations, these things are great, but really I think your learning starts when you log into app.fabric.microsoft.com and you start to build stuff yourself, right? But for a lot of people, when they log in, they don't really know what to do, right? Where do you start? Where do you get your data from? And they're definitely not following any sort of structured learning path, right? So that's exactly what I've built with Fabric Dojo basically gives you a series of hands-on tutorials and mini projects that are gonna give you a structured pathway to help you build confidence and competence designing and building robust analytic solutions in Microsoft Fabric. So let's look at how we do that. So as I mentioned, the dojo is a building with eight different levels and you enter on the first level, level one, right? And as soon as you come in here, you have access to the level one tutorials, right? And we normally start at level one, level two, with the more low and no code tools like data flows and data pipelines, right? So you learn about data transformation, orchestration, also metadata driven pipelines, lots and lots of stuff around data pipelines and data flows. Then as you interact with the community and you complete tutorials and you engage, you earn points, right? So it's a gamified system. You move your way up the levels and as you reach higher levels, you unlock different rooms, right? Where you can focus on different skills. And the levels have been designed to introduce you slowly to more and more advanced concepts and more and more advanced tools, right? So you start off with the low and the no-code tools, gradually moving up to the SQL data warehouse and data modeling in that warehouse, as well as CICD, version control, that kind of stuff. Then we go up to lake houses and Spark and data quality and code quality. because These are fundamental things to get right in analytics engineering and data engineering. Then on some of the higher levels, take a slightly more strategic look, right? So talking about different patterns for architectural design, different ways that we can automate our infrastructure through like the Fabric REST APIs, looking at security configurations and all of this kind of stuff that's at a more advanced level, including optimization of your cost and your capacity consumption. Now that you know that the skills that we're going to be working on is predominantly the data engineering and the analytics engineering personas, right? Who do I think this is really good for? Well, it's for people that want to move into those sort of careers. Maybe you don't have an engineering, a software engineering background, but you want to learn more about how to build more robust analytic solutions in Microsoft Fabric. Specifically, people who have passed the DP600, this is a great next step, right? Because what I hear from my community is a lot of people, they're not sure what to do next. They pass the exam and really they're lacking that real world practical experience. And so by going through all of these different tutorials and mini projects in Fabric, you know, I think it can really help you gain confidence with the tool. Okay, let's take a look at some of the new tutorials that we've just released in the last month or so. You'll see that there's a big section here around T-SQL, Fundamentals, so that section has been launched. We also have Data Flow Gen 2 and Data Pipeline. And currently we have about 30 tutorials for you to work through, right? At different levels, at getting started level, intermediate levels, and more advanced levels. Getting your hands dirty and building practical stuff, solving problems in the real world, it's tricky, right? It's a lot more difficult than just watching a video course on YouTube or Udemy or something like that. So what do we have to support you when you get a bit stuck? Well, number one is obviously our discussion board, right? So this is available 
seven days a week. I'm answering questions in here. People can post what they're having problems with. They can post their progress as well. And for specific exercises, like there's 40 different comments around this exercise, 25 comments already on this exercise. There's very deep discussions going on in these forums already. We also have the video walkthroughs. So for every tutorial, you get a step-by-step -step guide of how to complete the exercise. So if you haven't got a clue how to approach something, then these are a good place to start, right? Because we walk through it from start to end. And along the way, I point out the key concepts that you need to learn, best practices that exist in that specific context, and lots of other things that I think might help you understand the topic a bit deeper. But that's not all, because we also have the calendar. So this is our calendar. We have six hours of live calls every single month. So four Saturdays a month and two midweeks as well. So if you're looking to take your fabric analytics engineering and data engineering knowledge to the next level over the next few months, then make sure you go to schoolwithak.com forward slash fabric dojo and sign up. And if you're watching this before the 6th of October, I recommend you act quickly because we've got a promotion on early bird discount for the people that have been supporting me here. I want to give you a little bit of a discount on the rate. If you're watching this before October the 6th, then make sure you sign up. If you're watching after October the 6th, well, I still recommend you sign up, but you just miss out on that early bird discount. But you can also pay for an annual plan, so 12 months up front, and you save quite a lot of money over and above the monthly fee. So I'm looking forward to seeing some new faces in the dojo, and I will see you on YouTube where I'll be creating lots more content in the next few weeks and months. I'll see you soon.